Time to play with some clay. All right, I'm going to start working on this side of the face. I, I started on the other side yesterday, and uh, today is going to be this side. And then after I get done with that, I'll start working on the neck and then the legs and all that stuff. I'm not even happy with that leg at all. Um, I'm going to say this again, only because uh, I've said it before, but I get new viewers on my uh, videos every day and they don't know why I don't uh, show all my sculpting well the reason why is because I've got nine instructional DVDs on how to sculpt and I've got several on how to sculpt a horse's head and sculpt a horse and rider and a, and a two disc set on how to sculpt uh, a full horse from scratch and that's making the uh, armature and everything like that. Um, and I'm just not going to show for free what the other people are paying good money to see. And so this, in the video description below, uh, I have a, review, a link to a, re, a website, my blog, where I've got a review of all my uh, nine instructional DVDs where you can take a look and choose the one that you uh, find interesting or several that you might find interesting and uh, I just wanted to give that explanation because I got another question yesterday <laughs> all right be right back as I said yesterday uh, you can find any kind of pictures you want on horse anatomy, human anatomy, dog anatomy, cow anatomy, elk anatomy, whatever, on uh, Google, and uh, go to their image section of Google search, and you'll you'll find a ton of good stuff, but then you'll also find a ton of real crap, and that's that's where you have to try to fine-tune your your search and it's taken a couple of years to learn how to do that and uh, but once you learn how to search for items you'll find they come real quick for those of you who ha haven't been following this uh, particular subject that I'm working on these three horses which you can't see the other two yet because I'm not on those horses yet but I started out with monster clay to make it kind of like a base a, a stiff strong base for the clay that I'm going to put on it I'm using J-Mac clay on top of the monster clay Taking me an awful long time on these faces, or on this face. It might go faster on the next ones because if you haven't done a horse face in a long time, you have to almost relearn it again. But it's like bicycle if you get off it. And you don't ride it for a long time. You come back to it, you'll be okay.
Now I'm not going to put the ears on it. That will be one of the last things I do. And that's only because they get knocked around a lot if I put it on now. When I put the three horses together, I will position their heads in a more permanent way. I'm not sure if he's going to be looking off to one side, or, uh, but I, I can adjust all that uh, once I get to that point. What I'm worried about right now is getting all the muscles right and making it look like a horse instead of a camel. <laughs> it's always a good thing. Don't want it looking like camels. Nothing be wrong with camels. Camels are beautiful in their own way. I'm just not creating one. Mustangs, which were primarily the kind of horse that uh, was used out west, because that's what uh, they caught as wild horses, was uh, Mustangs. They were brought here by the Spaniards in the 1600s and 1500s, and they were a hardy horse. There were several breeds of Mustang, uh, Spanish Barb, the uh, Cayuse. The uh, sculpture by, I don't remember his name, it was a famous sculpture called The End of, a Tra uh, End of the Trail, with an Indian bent over the horse with a spear pointed down. Uh, that was a Cayuse. That was based on uh, that type of breed of horse. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do is put uh, lighter fluid, Ronsonol, on my uh, clay. I'm using a heavy-duty brush because I want to fill in any holes and, and things like that. It just smooths the clay. There's something in the Ronsonol, and I know I've explained this before, but I'll do it again. There's something in the Ronsonol that just has an effect on plastiline clay. I'm not going to do this 
side yet. All right, that's going to be it for today, and I'll come back uh, tomorrow and uh, hopefully tomorrow. Let's see, tomorrow's Friday, yeah. Saturday, I will not be here, but I will be here tomorrow. Yeah, I'm liking this. All right, good night, everybody. See you next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.